HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. How's it going, Hookah Pro? Uh, this is Rider Day 81. Mac Mentor. Uh, back with you again for yet another video review on today. It's El Nakla Mandarin. And again, I don't have the bag with me because I am stupid and left it over there where I packed the bowl at. Uh, it's okay because you really can't see the cut any with it anyway on the camera. So we're just gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna wing it and we're just gonna talk about it. Uh, typical Nakla cut, medium cut. Uh, some, you know, regular sized pieces of tobacco in there. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's it's a good cut. It packs really nice and easy. Uh, not as wet as the Miso line, again, which is good uh, because it packs easier. It doesn't stick to your fingers as much when you're trying to, like, pack it into the bowl. If you overpack, you know, just pack it in there. It doesn't stick to your fingers as much as good. Uh, the smell is really good. It smells like a mandarin orange, like straight up. It does. Um, really do like the smell. Uh, I heard it being talked about a lot on Hookah Pro in, in the forums, so I decided I'd go pick some up for myself, give it a shot. Uh, I smoked it last night too, and I really do like it, and we decided to throw a re review on for you guys. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, you, you smelled it too, talk about the smell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, it definitely smells pretty good. You know, just uh, a good uh, mandarin orange smell in there, and then uh, even to starting off this uh, bowl here, you can smell it. And... Uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely good mandarin orange there. All right, uh, let's see how it smokes. Uh, again, we got large Egyptian clay bowl, three coconuts. Got the wind cover on there to get started up. Uh, the uh, rasin or rasin hose. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Uh, my KM Ferroni, brand new, just got it in today. We're, so we're giving it a run for its money, breaking it in. Uh, giving you guys some reviews in the process, so here it goes. Uh, smoke isn't super good right now. Actually, I'm gonna mess with, mess with these coals a little bit. Allow Mac, Max to fuck with his cigar on camera to entertain you guys. Nah, no, I'm actually good. I'm just gonna make everyone awkwardly wait while you do your thing, and then try breaking it again. It's about to break. That's awesome. Just, just, just. You know, I think you, you should probably try something that's better than two monster things stuck to Hey. <laughs> this is my wind cover, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys. It's my monster can. Um, Dub edition. Dub edition, and it wasn't tall enough for a KM hookah. So he, he took one, cut it in half, and then folded out some little bit on there as like uh, grips, Support. and then stuck it together. And so that's what we've been using for a wind cover. So it falls off all the time, mm -hmm. and it doesn't work super well, but it keeps heat in there, so I don't mind that much. It, do, it does a job, while, although not well, too well. Don't worry, It'll ladies and gentlemen, better. I will go pick me up a tri er, quad metal wind cover, XL wind cover, soon enough. There you go. And so I have a, a real wind cover, finally. Um, yeah, no, right? Super new, nice KM. You could probably just... Monster wind cover. Anyway, uh, yeah, the coals were... They, they were kind of black on that one side from starting up the bowl. I uh, just put it on the hot side, flipped them. Uh, let's see. We can smoke any better now. I need this wind cover to keep the heat in there. It's all about trial and error, folks. So yeah, there you go. Just drop it on there. Yeah. That's Pro great. Probably heard you that. You know, just fuck it, leave it. <laughs> We're leaving it how it is. It's not, not on there how it should be. You know. If it's holding the heat in there right now, it's fine. I don't care. Um, hopefully it'll heat up in a second here. But yes, very good flavor. It, it, I can still taste it right now. Even though there's not, not that much smoke, it still tastes awesome. So, it's whatever.
Alright, well, <coughs> it's starting to go a little bit. Uh, smoke's getting a bit thicker. Um, yeah, the, the, the coals were... Uh, I used one of my last bowl, just threw on another bowl here. So, the coals are a bit smaller, so not as much heat as, you know, Nako loves its heat, and it's a pretty big bowl, so three kind of small cocos. Uh, not giving it, it the heat it needs, really. Um, clouds really don't matter, though. I mean, it's, you still get the flavor, and it's a really good flavor. Really good mandarin orange. Uh, the clouds are really nice and puffy, big Nako clouds. When you have a lot of heat on there, you know, a good amount of heat. It's just that when I go through it on a second set of coals, it'll smoke a lot better. But the flavor's still there. It's a good, it's a good mandarin orange. I really do like it. It's they hit, they hit the nail on the head with the orange flavor. It's like you, you get the sweetness in there of an orange, but you also get a little bit of a bitterness, which is you know like a natural orange. It's not a candyish orange really. It's a natural orange. You get the bitter flavor in there too from the orange. I really do like it. It's it's a good flavor, and uh, probably it's a lot of hookah. Uh, it'd probably be a really good mixer as well. I could see it being mixed well. I have a few other fruit knockoff flavors. I have watermelon and the sweet melon. Mm -hmm. I could see a triple fruit mix being very good. Uh, it, it's it's really good by itself, and it'd be really good as a mixer too. So it's it's a good all around tobacco. I'm gonna give this one a rating. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten because uh, it there are good clouds when you put more heat on it, you get really good clouds. Um, uh, the flavor is really awesome. I do really like the orange flavor. And you get that good Nakla unwashed buzz there. So I, And I like the buzz. Uh, it's, it's a really good all-around flavor. I have 250 grams of this one, and I will be smoking it all the time. We had it last night, too, um, with me and a bunch of my friends. They all really enjoyed it, too. So... It's a really good solid flavor, so yeah, 9 out of 10 for me. Uh, Mac Minter, your opinions? I'm, uh, I'm going to have to give this one eight, uh, eight and a half out of 10. Um, it is a good flavor. I'm uh, I'm not a huge orange fan, though, I mean, uh, they really did hit the uh, mandarin orange flavor right on the head. Um, it definitely does taste like an orange. Um, I, feel like I've been, uh, I feel like I've been eating an orange right off my tree. Uh... It is definitely a good flavor. Um, I think uh, it might even mix pretty well with the sweet tang. Maybe just might, a, yeah yeah hookah, just hookah, hookah sweet tang or hookah freak sweet, sweet tang. Sweet sorry, tang. Uh, it was another flavor I have from the Sahara Smoke contest, and I can see it mixing well with that also. Uh, give it a bit of that that the, that the that, that little bite there from the sweet tang. Little little citrusy uh, little yeah. citrusy flavor yeah. You get a little bite off of it. I that's really good too. Um, yeah, it's definitely solid good all around flavor. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry, it's not smoking that well for the review, but I assure you it does smoke really well. Definitely try this one, check it out. Uh, check out hookahpro.com also. Uh, awesome reviews like this. Check out my channel, which is up there. Bike Forever up in that corner on the screen, uh, or right up above the screen. Uh, check out the rest of my videos. Uh, this has been Ride or Die 81. And Mac Minter. For hookahpro.com. We're going to enjoy the rest of this Nakla Mandarin. And we will see you guys in the forums on hookahpro.com. Cheers. Out.